What's up everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and you guys are awesome. The internet is the ultimate fact-checking machine. You cannot make one statement on the internet without somebody being like, I don't think that's accurate. Well, regardless, uh, when I was talking about the Viperhood in Florida on my, let's say about four uploads ago, somebody called me out saying the Viperhood's not $75,000. That was my mistake. I did misspeak. I remembered there was a hood. I knew the Viperhood was ultimately like really expensive, but it wasn't $75,000. The $75,000 hood belonged to the SLR McLaren. And in one of these boxes here, I have SLR McLaren brakes. We'll get into the SLR McLaren and how expensive replacement parts are at another time, but the brakes are 20 plus thousand dollars per rotor. I've got the calipers, I got the whole kit. So if somebody wants like a super expensive SLR McLaren uh, brake replacement or upgrade, whatever, I'll sell it to you. I'd be happy to. It's sitting in a box doing nothing. The hood on the SLR McLaren is $75,000. The hood on the Viper, to my mistake, was on the Gen 2 Viper. Uh, 18,000 and change. So the, the hood range is anywhere from the Gen 1 Viper from 6,000 all the way up to about $18,000 for the 099 to 01 or whatever the, uh, the model year is. You can look that up. I'll even put it in the description to, ver to verify that so you can see. Not cheap hoods. Now if you're talking about a car that Vinny ultimately bought for $10,000, it comes with an $18,000 replacement hood. I wasn't too far off. The hood is, is worth the entire value of the car. Ultimately, the, the Viper, even his Viper and most other Vipers from the, uh, virtually every Viper, is worth more in parts, uh, as far as used, is worth more in parts than it is ultimately worth driving, which is funny to think about. And that's a big thing when I got into owning exotic cars that seem to be cheap and aren't cheap. When you fix a car that was used to be $100,000, it's going to come with $100,000 repair bills. And that's something you have to be aware of. And I got into this in, the, in a previous video this past week about when you know how to fix cars and when you know what to look for, when instead of looking for flaw, you have to be able to identify flaws, but you have to be able to also find value in what you're buying. And that's a big thing that people have to be aware of. You have to see that there's value there and not just be like, oh, cool, it's, it's a Maserati or it's a this, it's a that. You could go, the, the $12,000 Maserati I put up on the internet uh, that I linked to in, in the video about being, being aware of what you're buying and when you see an exotic that looks cheap, it comes with big bills to repair it potentially. That's a perfect example of that Maserati for $12,000. You look at it, you're like, that's really nice. It's worth more in parts than it is as a working car. So ultimately, it's not the end of the world if you buy it, but to part it out and take it apart, and there's companies like Exotic Auto Recycling and, and these other companies that literally buy cars with minor damage, break them down into parts and sell them. And they'll take a car that they bought for 40 and sell it for 120 in, by, by selling the parts. But you have to warehouse it, you have to put the labor into it, you have to dismantle it. There's a bunch of stuff that goes into that. That's ultimately the end game for every automobile, is that all sellable, um, uh, marketable parts that are on the car are stripped off before the car is crushed. And that happens with cars that are in accidents, that happens with cars that are just sitting, waiting for, uh, for a purpose in life. That's cars that have high miles, that, that have parts that are still good on it. It all really depends, so it's all what you're looking for. So ultimately, the point of this video is to correct the $75,000 Viper Hood statement that I made, because people have mentioned it in the comments. Thank you. Uh, but that hood does belong to an SLR McLaren. The Dodge Viper hood is still absurdly expensive. The one for Vinny's car is 18,000 and change. What does that do on the secondary market when, it, when a part is outlandishly expensive for a car? What it does is create a market for either A, stolen parts, or uh, for, for a secondary market for takeoff parts. And then ultimately, if the takeoff parts are still absurdly expensive because there's more people looking for them than, than there are parts available, there is an aftermarket, and the aftermarket is carbon fiber companies, fiberglass companies that mold them, make them, put them on, and usually you can't tell the difference. Uh, you can get aftermarket parts that are pretty good. I've never gotten real aftermarket parts that you could bolt on and it's like from the factory, uh, but I've even got parts from the factory that don't bolt on like you'd expect them to. So at the end of the day, if something is too expensive, there'll always be somebody who will make it for cheaper, usually, uh, if there's enough demand, and that will turn into a carbon fiber part or a fiberglass part that goes on a car and saves somebody money, but the person making it, obviously, when they make it in enough volume, is able to make money by producing it for X and selling it for X plus whatever. I hope you kept up with that. 
There's a the story behind the $75,000 hood. Uh, if I had some visuals here, the SLR McLaren brakes, which I promise are in this Lamborghini box, or maybe that one, or maybe this one, but not that one or that one or that one, uh, I would show them to you. We'll save that for another video. I will actually go through and pick apart the parts list on an SLR McLaren and see. My estimate for major components on that car is going to be about $750,000 without the chassis, without anything, just for like hood, headlights, bumpers, fenders, engine and transmission, wheels and brakes is probably about $750,000 in parts if you tried to order them from McLaren. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you kept up with that. It was a lot there, but like when people start saying, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He spent, uh, he, this hood's not 75,000. You can get it on eBay for seven. It's $18,000 for a Viper hood. Still a lot of money for a $35,000 car. Subscribe because I like when you subscribe. And I'm going to tell you that for the next 20 seconds. Thanks for making it through the whole video. I appreciate it. If you like what you saw, like below, comment below. Uh, those both help my videos go up in rankings and that helps me out. So thank you for that. If you don't enjoy it, don't say anything. But since YouTube does its own like things in the end here, I have 20 seconds in which to do that. And that's going to stop right now.